Okay, I'm gonna share a story. Okay, a true story. I was introduced to Jesus when I was six and a half years old. Sadly, when I went and became a teenager, I left the Christian faith, started smoking pot, getting drunk, then I got into bodybuilding, dabbled with Islam, but then I came back. Glory to God, I came back. But that foundation was there. Six and a half years old, foundation. I'm going to tell you a true story. The Lord is my witness. I'm probably going to start bawling saying it. When I was introduced to the Lord, my dad, sadly, was a womanizer, alcoholic, and my mother couldn't put up with it. So she demanded either she leaves or he leaves. So he left. I was six and a half years old. And I'm going to even tell you now, my buddy Thomas is here. He's younger than me. He remembers the neighborhood. Thomas, if you're here, just give a shout out. 5117 North Ashland Avenue. Ashland Avenue in Chicago, Rogers Park. I'm sorry, not Rogers Park, Andersonville. Andersonville. See, here he is. Thomas, you know what I'm talking about. Kempa Jilvaya. Here he is. We used to go to Trumbull School in Chicago. 51, I remember the address. I remember my telephone number. 5117 North Ashland Avenue. Right by uh, Foster. Sorry, I told you it's going to choke me up. When my dad left, I went in that alley. I went in that alley. And I was crying. It was near 10 o'clock at night. And you remember, Thomas, in that alley, right the, right by Clark Street, there's Illinois Bell. You know what I'm talking about, La, Thomas? Thomas, you know what I'm talking about, La? When you go in the alley, there's Clark Street, there's Illinois Bell. See, he knows. And if I visit it, by the grace of God, I'll film it. I'll show you the film. See? See you here. They didn't remember because we grew up. Even Tony remembers. Guys, true story. I'm going to show it. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy on me. Purge our motives, Lord. <clears throat> anyway, I went in the alley and I cried out. And I said, Jesus, I'm not asking to see you. Right? All I'm asking, Lord... All I'm asking is send someone to comfort me. I promise you, right before I finish the prayer, on my right at the end of the alley, now Thomas and I will remember, you had Winona and Carmen. Thomas, Carmen. The guy turns from Carmen, walks down the alley, and I can see him walking. He had carpenter's clothes and a carpenter's hat, and he had like wavy black hair with a mustache, and he had his hands in his pocket. I remember him like yesterday. True story, brethren. Not lying. He saw me sitting and he looks at me and he says, hey, kid, what's wrong? Are you homeless? I said, no. So he sits to my left. He says, are you hungry? I said, no. Then I told him the story. And I promise you, this was the gist of it. I promise you. He looked at me. You know what he said? Ladies, I want you to hear this. He said to me, he looked at me. Jesus loves you. And he'll never leave you. I've never seen that man since. I was six and a half years old. I never seen that man since. And yet I still remember his face. <clears throat> Notice when he came to me. But when I said, Jesus, send me someone to talk to me. Because I was six and a half years old, heartbroken because my dad left. And the Lord from heaven spoke to that man and he said to me, Sam, <clears throat> I'll never leave you. And I swear to you, He's never hurt me. He's never disappointed me. He's always, me. he's always been good to me. I'm the one who's been bad. I'm the one who's been That's why I asked the Lord, keep me pure, Lord. I love you. 